Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a Will I Buy It? And I believe this is my fourth episode, which is crazy because like that means that we're already four weeks into it. But let's just go ahead and get started because we have a decent amount of products to talk about today. So first, I'm looking at my phone, so like don't mind me if I'm looking down because I'm trying to get information on each product. So we have All Made Lip Vibes Lipsticks. And this comes in eight shades. There is like a variety of tropical shades. I would say they're more not on the nude side and like vibrant colors. Um, I don't mind them. They're eight dollars each. I don't know how pigment said they are. And if I were to pick up one or two, I would pick up primarily the nude color and maybe the red color. The other shades are more like summery shades, which like I said, I don't mind. The packaging is super cute and they come in like flowers like there, there's a tropical vibe going on which I really love because we are now getting into the fall season and although I love fall I can still go for a little bit of summer and I mean honestly I'll wear colors like regardless of the season so like you'll see me maybe in the winter wearing like pink and stuff on my eyes like I really don't care regardless of the season I will go ahead and wear whatever I feel like wearing do you get me so I feel like this is kind of fun and it's cute and I feel like I might just end up not picking up any of them but if I do pick up one or two I already told you it would be the nude and the more berry red. I really do like that orange though it is pretty intriguing to me so I mean it looks like something fun. Um, Next we have the Artist Couture Diamond Luxe Luminizer. This retails for $38 so just right around $40. Um, Artist Couture released before they have their um, they have their loose highlighters, which they are really known for. I do believe Jackie Ann, and I don't know about Nicole Guerrero, but I know for sure Jackie Ann had a collaboration with them a couple years ago. I didn't pick that up, but I feel like this um, I feel like this highlighter looks really really pretty. It is a little bit more on the expensive side, but you are paying a little bit, like you're basically paying for the brand name, which I don't mind. And the packaging is okay. I would give it like an average rating. And inside the print is like okay too. It's not all that. But this is something that I'm eyeing. I'm not sure if I'm buying or just totally passing it. We will see what ends up happening. Um. So this is somewhat new, but not so much, and it's the Charlotte Tilbury Stars in Your Eyes palette. This retails for $75, so it is a very pretty penny. There are 12 shades, and each of them are, the 12 shades are divided into a family of three. So, like, you can obviously mix and match all the shades, but they divide it into three, so you can, like, specifically create a look using three shades so like you could create four different looks with the sections that they give you but then again like I said that you can switch and like play around with all the colors since it all comes in one palette 12 shades $75 I've never tried anything from Charlotte Tilbury but it is a little bit expensive <clears throat> I feel like the shades in here are like purples and pinks and like there's a little bit of brown and nudes in there I feel like these are shades that I primarily have in my collection within different palettes so it's not something that I am like dying to get but I wouldn't mind picking it up but for $75 it's a lot so I feel like I would really want to think about it before I purchase it and honestly I would pay the extra $50 to get a Natasha Denona palette just because there's so much um, hype of Natasha Denona here on YouTube so I would really want to try one of her palettes so Personally, I would spend the 50 extra dollars on something from Natasha Denona, like the Lila palette or the Sunset palette. Those are the two palettes that I really, really want and I've heard amazing things about and I have heard not so amazing things about her new shadows. So I'm kind of iffy about picking up her new shadows, but not her old ones. I like how we like were talking about Charlotte Silvery and then we started talking about Natasha Denona. Sorry. Um, okay. Keja Beauty Bento Borny Shimmer Eyeshadow Trio. So I've never really heard of this brand, but it retails for $21, and they kind of have something where the melt stacks. They have the stacks on top of each other, and they all come in one. 
So these three shades are particularly like more on the very nude, very neutral shade. Neutral shade. Um, there's more of a what I would describe like a pinkish shimmer. Um, there's a nude shimmer, and I feel like there's like two different shades of nude shimmers. There's like a very light one, and there's more of like a tan one. Um, for twenty one dollars, that retails at seven dollars each eyeshadow. I wouldn't mind that. I feel like trying new brands to me is really fun, so I wouldn't mind trying the Kaja Beauty. Kaja Beauty, if you guys know how to pronounce that, leave it down below. It's specifically how to say it because I feel like I am butchering. Butchering. <laughs> I feel like I am butchering that name. But yeah, I feel like this is something that to try in a new brand and just try in general. I feel like I would be really down for. Okay, so KKW Beauty is launching another launching is launching another eyeshadow palette, and I believe she is launching more um, ultra light like glosses for your eyelids. Um, this palette looks so similar to her first release, which did so well, and I feel like that's why she bought it back. But honestly, I am not like super excited to pick it up. I have not. I have yet to try anything from KKW Beauty, so I mean it would be something fun to try, but I feel like I would rather try one of her other palettes first, or like maybe just wait till like a new release comes out, because I feel like she's going to end up coming out with a lot more palettes, um, that has like a lot more variety of, that has like a lot more variety of shades in it. So I'm very intrigued to see what she comes out with, but this is a pass for me. Um, a more Pacific is coming out with a color illuminating compact this is going to retail for fifty dollars and it looks like a highlighter slash a bronzer but mainly a highlighter that you can swirl or just dig into like the different shades that comes in there it looks like something really pretty i'm pretty sure a more pacific i haven't tried anything from them either but it's a high-end brand because like i said before this does retail for fifty dollars um it is a very pretty pan and like it has really pretty colors it comes with a brush as well but the brush I feel like is something that I don't know I usually don't use them but I don't throw them away I just keep them um but this is something that I wouldn't mind picking up I wouldn't mind trying it out but honestly I have my eye on the Marc Jacobs highlighter the really big one and I hope that like if it I know it's out already and I hope that if it's like sold out already that they'll bring it back because I do want to end up picking it up and trying it out because I do think that it looks really really pretty so this is going to be a pass for me um ooh this is something very very pretty and that I just encountered right now Becca is coming out with a shimmering skin perfector pressed highlighter in gold lava the packaging of this looks like something that Becca hasn't had before and it basically looks like somewhat of a lava. I can see like where they're trying to make the comparison of the name and the imprint um, of the product and it kind of looks like a wave and it looks like maybe it could be lava or something like that. The shade itself, this retails for $38, but the shade itself wouldn't look like it's for my skin tone, but I feel like maybe if I were to like get my regular highlighter and like dip ever so slightly into this one and like maybe apply it on my cheekbones especially like in my inner corner or like on my eyelids I feel like it could work out really really pretty um but this is something that I honestly even though it's not my shade I wouldn't mind picking up just because I really really love the imprint and it's something like different and unique to Becca I feel like so so this is something that I wouldn't mind picking up Okay, you guys, my camera died, and I charged it for a little bit. I ate real quick, and I am back. So, sorry. So, we have next to talk about um, the L'Oreal Paris times Isabel Morant. I don't know who that is, but it says here that she's a French designer, and they are collaborating on lipstick shades. The lipstick shades are actually on my alley, literally all of them, just about. There's, like, one that I'm like, eh which is the very last one and it's like the more berry burgundy one and that is just because like I don't really like to apply dark shade colors to my lips I just personally feel like it doesn't look too good on me but I mean honestly all these shades especially the nudes are super duper beautiful I am definitely if this comes here and I'm pretty sure it will I am definitely gonna pick up um at least three of these shades for sure and like try them out and like tell you guys how it is 
Um, yeah, so I'm definitely going to pick up at least three of these shades, try them out, and then like tell you guys how it is. I don't know when it's coming out, but it is coming out with L'Oreal, so that is something that I am looking forward to very, very much. Oh, and it says here, I think they're out now. And they're also coming out with an eyeshadow duo, um, a cheek tint, and a gel eyeliner. But mainly what I am very interested in is the lipsticks that they're coming out with because, like, the shades are, like, right up my alley. Um, I am trying to find the, yeah, so the, the eyeshadow palette, the little duo that they're coming out with, is, like, a teal and a black. So I'm not too interested in that, to be honest. So that's something that I'm not going to pick up. But like I said, I'm going to pick up the lipsticks for sure. Okay, so Cardi B is getting her Tom Ford lipstick shade. And this is in like a very vibrant, it looks like a teal kind of. And it looks like a tealy blue, like more of a blue. And this is like not my, like this is not my taste in shade at all. But I mean... I can see Cardi B wearing this shade and honestly if I were to get a Tom Ford lipstick I personally wouldn't get a blue because I wouldn't get too much use out of it and a Tom Ford lipstick I believe is like $55 to $60 so I would want to get like a shade that I would constantly be using and knowing that I'd be getting my money's worth you know so that is a skip for me but I am very glad and like I'm happy for her for collaborating with Tom Ford okay so next um okay so next we have Jeffree Star's collection to talk about. I have never bought anything from Jeffree Star, but he is coming out with, like, new highlighters, and he's coming out with new lip liners. The lip liners, he's, like, never had before, and this particular type of highlighter, he's never had before either. He says, I watched his video, and he said that, like, they were the first products that he's ever, like, had made overseas. <clears throat> I'm going to turn off this, like, TV real quick. Because I can see it playing in the background and I don't really want that. Yeah, okay, so it's not playing. But, um, yeah, so he said that this is the first products that are from his line that have been made overseas and shipped overseas. So I am very, very excited for that. Um, there are a couple lip liners that are, like, not my, not for me. There's, like, a Tiffany one. Or there's, like, it's called Breakfast with Tiffany. That's, like, a Tiffany blue. It's really, really pretty and, like, I love the name for it, honestly. But that's just something not on my alley. There are a couple shades that I would definitely end up picking up. And if there are any palettes on his website, I'm going to pick that up too. Just because I've never tried anything from Jeffree Star and I feel like it's time. Like, it needs to happen because, like, I've heard so many good things about his products and I really do want to try them. So I'm very excited for that order that I will be putting in soon. Okay, and then I'm going to talk about one more thing. And the last thing that I'm going to talk about is Nikki Tutorials and her collaboration with Maybelline and it is a highlighter. Um, I know she just came out with a collaboration with Ofra for highlighters as well and I can put that on the screen as well if you guys want which I will put it on the screen. Um, I kind of find it funny how I find it kind of funny I kind of find it sad. No I'm just kidding. Okay I kind of find it funny that she's collaborating with two different brands. One high-end not I wouldn't say really really high-end but one high-end brand and then one like drugstore brand and she's making the same products which is highlighters and she's coming out with them at like the same time and so I don't know I personally I have no Ofra highlighters but I have heard many 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 people talk about them um but I feel like I don't know, I've tried the Maybelline ones, like the Maybelline Master ones, and that's like the kind that Nikki Tutorials came out with, and I like the formula of it, so I wouldn't mind trying it out, but I am kind of like torn if I should either buy the Ofra one or the Maybelline one, so I will probably end up finding like some reviews and then end up like whichever one is better picking that one up and then reviewing it for you guys. Okay, so that is going to wrap up my video for today of my eyeing and not buying. Um, I am excited for the products that are coming out. I'm mostly excited for Jeffree Star's collaboration, to be honest. The lipsticks with L'Oreal, and I forgot her name already, which is, like, really bad. But the lipsticks from L'Oreal, and yeah, those, those are, like, the two main products that I'm pretty excited about, and I can't, like, wait to try them out and to buy them and, like, apply them to my face. So I'm very excited for what's coming and for the products that I'm going to buy. And if you guys enjoy these kind of videos, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video and in next week's buying or not buying, which will be my fifth episode. 
Alright you guys, bye, have a great day.